Okay, time to learn scenario analysis. And there's two of these we're going to cover. First, make sure that your cursor is on the uh, table analysis tool sample worksheet inside the table. Click scenario analysis, and we're going to start with goal seek. So this is much like the goal seek tool you've learned in IS, uh, I think 102 or maybe 110, depending on when you've taken it. Uh, however, it's, it's more like goal seek on steroids. So it looks at all of the variables all at once instead of just one, but it's the same basic idea. We want to look at a particular value. Uh, let's say we want to see what it's going to take for everyone to become bike purchasers. So for example, many of these rows are set to no for purchase bike, Well, we want to find out what's it going to take to get those people to buy a bike. So we say our target is purchase bike, and we want to set that exactly to yes. And what do we want to change? Well, over here we're going to, going to pick one column. Now, it's going to use all of the columns in its analysis. However, we're going to pick one column that we want to see change. Now, as a business manager, I'm going to look at this and say, okay, can I change someone's marital status? No, not likely. Clearly, I can't change their gender, can't easily change their income or their children or their education. However, well, actually, I'm going to take that back. My customers are often changing their own education. It's constantly improving. So I may not be able to affect these other things, but what I could do is identify those who are in partial college, which means they're likely in the school right now working on their degree, and then I can wait one, two, three, or four years until they're done, and then see if those people go from being partial college to bachelor's degrees, see if that makes them more likely to purchase a bike, and if it does, I can identify those people and then target them in a mailing or advertising. So I want uh, to change education, and then again I can use all columns except ID of course in my analysis, and I can apply this logic to a single row or the entire table. Now if I choose single row, click run, it will give me my results right down here in this results pane. However, it still has to go through all of the, all of the cells. So what it's telling me is that this person, although it's tough to see, can I expand that? There we go. Um, whichever row my s there we go. I'm on 12697. Uh, if this female moves from a uh, bachelor's degree to a graduate degree, then I have fair confidence that this person will become a bike purchaser. So if I know that this person's in school, uh, then I simply wait till their graduate d degree is done and uh, send them some advertisement at that point. However, it would probably be more useful to run this analysis on the entire table. So I'm going to change this to entire table, click run, and then it will append uh, the, uh, the data to the at end of the table. So we'll wait for this to finish. There we go. Close this out. So here's the idea. For purchase bike equals yes, um, the, the green check means that if they change to this level of education, so from high school to partial college, or from partial college to bachelor's degree. Uh, and sometimes the change is in the opposite direction. These stats aren't perfect. For example, this one that says high school, this person, person is probably already has a higher level of education. Oh no, they're already at high school. So this is saying, um, well clearly since they've already purchased a bike, they don't need any higher than high school to, to get that. This one's saying that if they go from partial high school to bachelor's, they're still not likely to purchase a bike. Um, Here's this one. This person goes from bachelor's to graduate degree. They likely will. Um, let's see here. Bachelor's. Okay, if this person goes from high school to bachelor's degree, oh, they still won't. But this next one, if they go from partial college to bachelor's, they likely will. So I can take this data and just store in my system a list of uh, addresses that I want to send an advertisement to and delay that until they're likely to be done with school. And uh, there we go. That's it for the Goal Seek tool.